Since I've been doing so much marking with Sharpies, this project is the making of a metal scribe out of brass and aluminum. This is literally a back of the envelope design I came up with to solve the issue of how to protect the tip of the scribe from getting damaged when it is not in use and also how to keep it from sticking me in the leg if I wanted to put it in my pocket. Also, I didn't want to have to come up with a separate piece to act as a cap that could potentially get lost. The solution that I came up with and the extra cool feature of this scribe is that the tip is fully retractable. It works in a very similar way to this bolt and nut. As the bolt is turned while the nut is being held still, the tip of the bolt is advanced away from the nut. In the opposite direction, it is retracted back toward the nut. This scribe is just a fancy bolt and nut and has a piston within the scribe body that advances or retracts the replaceable tip relative to the rest of the pieces. It is also correctly measured so it will tighten in both the advanced and retracted positions so it stays securely in the respective position. The scribe tip is a standard Starrett Tools hardened steel tip that was lightly modified for use in this custom scribe body. I will put a link to the tip in the description below. The tip is fitted to the, into the end of the internal piston and held using a tiny 3mm set screw that had to be slightly shortened from its original length. The set screw came from this set of generic set screws that I have used before and will link in the description again. The remaining six pieces that make up the body are made of brass and aluminum and held together by threaded fittings with the exception of this extra decorative trim piece that was pressed into this aluminum grip piece and held in place with some green Loctite. The inner piston is threaded through the middle brass piece and finally threaded into the back cap and secured with green Loctite as well. A touch of red Loctite was used to hold the cap, the back cap, onto the back aluminum grip piece as well as hold the middle back brass piece onto the front aluminum grip piece. The red Loctite is to hold the brass pieces to the aluminum grip pieces mostly just so that the least resistance is found in the piston and the scribe body doesn't come apart unintentionally when advancing or retracting the tip. The brass tip was screwed into the front aluminum grip piece and ended up being so tight that I shaped it in place and Loctite wasn't needed. I chose brass and aluminum as materials because I wanted a reason to try working with brass and thought the aluminum would help break up the brass colored pieces and create a nice looking final product. Overall, I'm very happy with the way this turned out and look forward to using it in my future project. And I'm also tossing the idea around about making a matching pen so if there is any interest in seeing a video of that project, definitely comment below and subscribe. The rest of this video is the machining of the various parts and the final assembly at the end. I did try to blue the steel tip for some added color, but it ended up covered in black soot and I just polished it again. I put a clip of how I tried to blue it at the end of the video in case anyone can tell me what I did wrong. As always, I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.
Wow, 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 wow.